Hello, the empty nester at night. Okay, so I change. Like, it seems like every time I record something, it's like this way, like a little rectangle. So I'm changing my phone around. So, anyways, if I was talking to a girl, I'd be like, "Oh, girl, I went on a date tonight," and I did. I went on a date tonight, and we sat there. It was so good. We sat and we talked for like four hours and the time didn't even seem to pass. And I was like, woo, woo, it's about time because I've had all kinds of dates that were, ugh. I don't know if we're looking at this, this phone, this camera, so my eyes will be all over the place. I'll figure it out eventually. Such a creature of habit. Anyway, so <clears throat> we went on the date and it was good. We'll see where that one goes. But I do have a story. Okay, here's one of my dating stories. All right, all right, all right. So we're on the dating site and we're talking back and forth, back and forth. You know, I looked at his pictures. Mind you, I'm not the skinniest one out there, but, you know, please look like your pictures. At least. So we make a date. It was like in between clients and I was like half, half an hour. And I was like, okay, I can meet you over at Starbucks. I'm trying to get my hair. Look at my hair. It's a mess. I just came from a date. That's why I have makeup on. So anyways, so we meet up. And, um, <clears throat> and we're at Starbucks and I get my skinny vanilla latte with coconut milk and he gets there and he goes, oh, I wish you wouldn't have bought it. I would have bought it Well, I was here before you. So I bought myself my own drink. And anyway, so I see him. He's like 85 pounds bigger than his picture. Mind you, I like big guys. I think it's, you know, they were nice to hold on to, and I don't mind bigger men. But come on, tell me in the beginning that you're a bigger guy. You know, show it in your pictures. Don't just surprise me, because that's weird. See, I look up at this corner, and I should be looking over there, but see, I can't see myself look over there when I look over here. I'm going to try to stare at the Samsung sign. And so... <clears throat> He's like 85 pounds bigger than what he was. And we, he goes, okay, I'm gonna, I, he, he was right in line behind me. And he goes, I want a Trente black tea, iced tea. I was like, okay, cool, you know, whatever. With seven pumps of sugar. And he looks at me and his teeth are kind of not good. And he goes, I like everything sweet. I was like, oh. Oh my gosh, sweet. You like everything sweet? This is my this is my cartoon brain. I'm like, mofo, if I get with you, you're gonna have diabetes. And I am gonna have to take care of your ass because you wanna put seven pumps of sugar in your iced tea. That was my brain. <laughs> but in person I was like, okay, yeah, let's go sit down and talk. And we sit down and talk, and he's just like chatty chatty chat. I couldn't hear anything because I was like you know, you, to me, it's like you lied to me. I've been lied to so many times in relationships. Men just lie all the time. Lie, lie, lie. I'm sure women do it too. Don't get me wrong. But let's lie about things. I'm like, no, that's a huge lie. That's a huge. I don't, I tell everyone, hey, I ain't the skinniest girl, but at least I show you the pictures that are right. You know, here it is. Curves. You like it? You like it. You don't? You don't. Move on next. Someone's going to love me for who I am and what I am and what size I am and everything that goes on in my crazy brain. So, but this one was like, dude, you're 85 pounds. If I get with you, then you ain't going to change the way you're eating habits. You are 40 damn six years old and you haven't changed your eating habits. I got to change my eating habits. And if you're not going to change your eating habits, I can just see myself having to wipe you're behind when you're 85 because you're not going to get healthy. So anyways, I was like, how am I going to get out of this date? How am I going to go? Well, you know, I got to go back to work. I got to see ya. Bye. Thank God I had to go back to work. So I go back to work and I'm like, like, yeah, no. 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 That's like the one guy I dated and I thought he was all that in a bag of chips. And then I found out. He knew. I'm going to put this out there. He knew. He could have taken care of this problem. Before he took me down the road of thinking that everything was good in the relationship. And his winner didn't work. No. 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 That ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Take that little limp biscuit and go on down the road. Because this half of my life, I ain't doing that. I ain't playing sad for you. You could have went and got yourself a little blue pill and knew that that 
shit was gonna work and it didn't work so bye Felicia I stuck that one in there that was kind of embarrassing but it was what it was anyways those are my two stories I hope that my dick guy I went out with tonight works out because I liked him and he seemed to like me and we were like vibing off each other and I'm like oh my god let's we'll see if that works and, you know, as long as everything is in proper working order and we get along boop boop we're in this anyways empty nester at night I gotta go bye